Greetings, everyone. I thought I'd take a few minutes and show you my home-built thresher. Uh, it's electrified, you can see here, uh, using a adjustable length pulley. And basically, the weight of the motor is what tensions the uh, tensions things. It's basically a cylinder within a cylinder, um, all made out of wood. Since I don't have the skill or the materials to uh, make one out of metal or the equipment for that matter. Um, so you can see it's just basically split in half here. You can see the seam here and here's the hinges. Um, on the bottom underneath it is a screen uh, that the flails rub against and everything collects in this 40 gallon trash container underneath, so then I need to uh, winnow it later. Uh, here's the, the sort of the business end where I feed everything in and inside you can sort of see some of the flails here which are basically heavy-duty uh, weed whacker material on most of them uh, but there are two as you can see here two rubber flails uh, that uh, also rub against the bottom of the, uh, the screening on the bottom. I have some fairly heavy rubber material that helps keep things from flying out as, as thing, the uh, interior cylinder is rotating. Here are the clasps that uh, I can undo that open things up. This whole thing folds back. And there you can see the internal cylinder that rotates. And it's basically, uh, yeah, a couple of uh, discs of plywood with uh, some plywood members crossing between them. And you can see the, the only metal parts are um, the part that it, the spindle that it rotates on. Uh, it has some ball bearings in there. So you can see the ball bearings down here. And in the bottom, you can see some of the, you can sort of see the, the quarter inch stainless steel uh, mesh that uh, I can replace if need be because this stuff does wear out. So this whole thing rotates and uh, rubs everything basically against the bottom down in there. And uh, here I'll, in a second, I'll take this off and I can show you the the uh, bottom that I built that has, that holds the mesh on. So here's the bottom of the uh, thresher. And you can see, again, I have these same kinds of clasps, two on this side and then two down there that hold this on. And if I undo it, this whole thing comes off. And uh, you can see it's just sort of a frame that holds this quarter inch mesh. Uh, and I can replace that or swap it out for coarser mesh if I decide I want to thresh something else. Um, I've threshed wheat, barley, and oats with this uh, fairly successfully. Um, and here you can see one of the rubber mats that uh, flail. All of this rubs against the bottom here. Uh, which achieves a pretty good separation of uh, chaff from the seed. And you can see here, I, I, uh, here's what you get. I, this is a variety called Burbank barley, uh, bred in Northern California back around the turn of the last century by Luther Burbank. Um, it's a hullless variety. It's pretty much all I grow. Uh, so all this needs really is for me to winnow it and... Uh, and I'm good. So there you go. Hope that proves interesting for everyone.